Hello and welcome to Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. I'm from London. I was born in England, but I live in Portugal. Why? Because the weather is much nicer in Portugal. The sun is shining. It's bluish sky. It's bright. It's not very hot. It's uh, a little bit cold today. Um, I had a, a message from a student in Argentina the other day, and she said it's very, 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 very hot in Argentina. Uh, so hopefully it's not uh, it's not too bad where you are. Here in Portugal, it's 10 degrees, 10 degrees Celsius. So a bit chilly. Oh, it's gone up. The, it's it's regenerated, it's revived itself. It's now 15, 15 degrees Celsius. Whew. Hot and sticky. No, not really. Chilly, a bit breezy. Um, we have the cup of tea, always. So, hello, welcome to Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Today, we're doing the future perfect and the future continuous. Last week, one of the students said, Uncle Jeff, can you say something about the future continuous and the future perfect? So today, that's what we're doing. We're also going to do some phrasal verbs, some new phrasal verbs, maybe some you know, some you don't, some phrasal verbs, more phrasal verbs with up. And we're also doing some sounds in English, some English pronunciation. Today, we're doing, I'm sure you've seen this chart before. This is Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English Sounds Chart. And today, we're doing these two sounds. We're doing k and g. K, g, k, g. Two sounds for today, later on. K for cat and g for go. So that's later. First of all, and by the way, not only a cup of tea, but because we are in Portugal, some pastel, hmm? <laughs> don't lose them, Uncle Jeff, some pastel de nata, custard tarts, typical Portuguese speciality. I still got egg. Tarts. What's an O? Oh, well, custard egg, egg custard. In England, we have custard tarts, not quite the same, different pastry. Um, custard tarts in England, more short crust pastry. These are more flaky pastry and delicious when warm. And if you have a pastel donata in Portugal, you need some cinnamon. <laughs> this is canela. Yeah, canela, can you see that? So you need cinnamon, just a sprinkle on top. So, a bit late for 11s is, but maybe later on we'll eat that. So that's the plan for today. So are you sitting comfortably? Excellent, then we shall begin. Let's start future perfect, future continuous. The student last week said, I don't understand, it's too difficult. Don't worry, I am here to help. First of all, let me do a little timeline. In English, it's always good to see a timeline. Let's go here. We are here now. Let me show you that. Uncle Jeff's timeline. We are here now. The time of speaking. We are here. This is before now, the past. This is after now, the future. So we are here now, the time of speaking. So, for example, What's the time now? 11.35. I am teaching. You know present continuous. I am teaching. Let me put it on my board. I am teaching. I started five minutes ago. I finish at... It's now 11.35. Let's go there. I started at 11.30. I finish at 12.30. That's the plan. 11.30, finish at 12.30. So at the moment, I am teaching. We are here in the middle of this action. I started five minutes ago. I'll finish 
in about an hour. So we are in the middle of the action of teaching. I am teaching. Present continuous. The verb to be plus ing. The verb to be plus ing. I am, he is, you are. Yeah, the verb to be. The present tense of the verb to be. I am teaching. Now, this time next week, let's look into the future. Let's look at this time next week. Next Sunday. Next Sunday. Eleven thirty or eleven thirty five. Next on Sunday. It's in the future. It's still continuous. It's still the verb to be plus ing, but it's in the future. So you need a word to put it into the future. What word do you have for the future? Will. So over here, I will be teaching. Will plus be plus ing. Talking about this time into the future, future continuous, I will be teaching this time next Sunday. Yeah, we are here, we're looking ahead to next week, I will be teaching. After will, in any form, you must have the infinitive form, which is why it's be, I will be teaching. I am teaching is he, she, it, is, you are, they are, we are. But in the future, after will, you must use the infinitive form. So I will be, and then ing. I will be teaching. You will be listening. You will be studying. You will be enjoying, maybe. Happy so far? Future continuous. Will plus be plus ing. Let me show you this. This is future continuous. Can you see this piece of paper? Yep. Yeah. So again, we are here now. Present continuous. We started, we finish. Anything with ing has a beginning and an end, a start and a finish. It's temporary which is why we use ing to say, to say that something is temporary. It's got a beginning and an end. So here we are now, a present continuous. I am teaching. Logically, in the past, again, the verb to be plus ing, but the past form of be. So I was, you were, they were, he was, yeah? Past continuous. Have a look at the sentence. At 10 o'clock yesterday, Anna was in her office. She was working, past continuous. The verb to be, was, the past form. She was working. 10 o'clock yesterday. Imagine, there is 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock yesterday, Anna was in her office. She was working. She started, she finished. Temporary action. She was working. Look at the second sentence. It's 10 o'clock now. Imagine. It's 10 o'clock now. Anna is in her office now. She is working. Present continuous. She started work before, before 10 o'clock. She finish, finishes later. So it's 10 o'clock now, this point. It's 10 o'clock now. Anna is in her office. She is working. Present continuous. Happy so far? Yes, Uncle Jeff. Good. Look ahead to the future. Everything in English, everything we say is seen from this point. So we open our mouth to speak. We look back into the past from now. We look into the future from now. So look at the last sentence. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, so we are here now. At 10 o'clock tomorrow, Anna will be in her office. So you've got will plus the infinitive be. She will be in her office and she will be working. 
she will be working, future continuous. So the past continuous, present continuous, future continuous, the verb to be plus ing, the past form, the present form, and a future form, will plus be on ing. So future continuous. Happy so far? Excellent. Sip of tea. Next. Yeah, before oh. you go. Oh, okay. In a minute. Hello. Future perfect. Question one. Oh, oh, hello. Hello to. Where's Normandy, that? Normandy, sorry. Normandy. Yeah. In France. Northern France. We, we were looking at Normandy. We were, look, we were looking at some houses in Normandy. Maybe we will buy one. Oh, future. <laughs> maybe we will. Perhaps, maybe. Yeah. We will buy a house in Normandy in the future. Yeah. Who knows? So, hello, Normandy. Bonjour. Uh, Cyprus, hello. Hello, Cyprus. And hello to the Philippines. Thanks for joining us today. And a lot of likes and the oh, oh, yes. Thank you so much for the likes. The flowers, the roses, thank you. You're very kind. I was born the May 6th, is that correct? I was what born? Boing, I-N-G. No, no. Um, I was born. It's, it's like a passive sentence because who, who bore you? Your mother. Yeah, so it's a, she did the action. You just, you just happened. <laughs> yeah, she did the hard work. So your mother, it's a passive, it's a, a passive structure. So I was born. Um, it's like, um, I am married. You make the, the passive with the, the verb to be plus the third form. Yeah, be, was, been. Um, so, um, born. Married, someone does the action, someone uh, does the ceremony uh, in the church or the civic office. The vicar, the person, the religious man marries you. So that's another passive structure. So, yeah, so I was born in 19 whatever. Hello from Malaysia. Oh, hello, Malaysia. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, France again. Sweet. And where's that? Swiss. Switzerland. Oh, Switzerland. Hello. Grüezi. If you're Swiss German speaking. And Portugal. <laughs> oh, hello, Portugal. We are in Portugal today, <laughs> here in the Algarve, drinking chamomile tea. Yeah. Chamomile tea today. Poland. Hello, Poland. Uh, you can hear Mrs. Uncle Jeff in the background. Argentina, Brazil. I got to stop this now. Oh, <laughs> hello, Argentina. Hello, Brazil. Turkey. Thank Germany. you for joining us, Turkey and Germany Indonesia. again. <laughs> Indonesia. Oh, you turn around, you're how many hundreds? How many? <laughs> Follower, we got 300 people, 225 people are watching you. Oh, wow. Hello, 325 people. How good is that? So, uh, thank you for being there today. Oh, there is the one question you need to answer. Oh, okay. Well, the difference between will be and going to, can you do that later? Uh, uh, will, uh, will, will, be, will and going to, to talk about be, the future? Will be, yes, yes. So the difference between well be doing something or going to something. Or going to do something. Yeah. Well, very, very quickly, going to is just your idea. Um, and you're talking about it now. I am going to watch TV later. It's my plan, only my plan. No one else knows about it. Going to, to talk about the future. Um, there's a video on it on YouTube and some little ones on TikTok, if you look on the profile. Um, I will be watching Future Continuous will be watching. I'm now looking ahead to the future. Later today, I will be watching football on TV. One of my favorite things on a Sunday. Uh, I will be watching and maybe later I will be sleeping on the sofa because it's very tiring teaching. So that was that's future continuous. Are you happy so far? Yeah, yeah I will be doing something in the future, let me just go back to this again. We're talking now and looking ahead to the future when the action starts and the action finishes. So I will be watching TV. I think the football starts about two o'clock in the afternoon. It finishes about four o'clock. So in this time, I will be watching football. Will plus B plus ING. I will be watching. Future continuous. Okay? Yeah.
Good. Uh, so I said you're a handsome man. Hello. Handsome man. Yeah. Thank you so much. I know. <laughs> okay, carry on. <laughs> you're very kind. A handsome man and no beauty cam. Amazing. Fascinating. So that's future continuous. Now then, you're talking about an action that's in progress at some time in the future. Let me get my board again. This is Uncle Jeff's board. Let me just, uh, oh look, Christmas. Christmas serviette. Let me take away the continuous bit. Let me take away that. And let me tell, let me write it again. Let's, let's take away the whole thing and do a new, a new timeline. So again, we are here now and timeline. <laughs> One of our cats is running around crazily. Okay. Can you see that okay? Yes. Yep. Timeline. Again, we are here now, the time of speaking. Everything in English is seen from here. From when we open our mouth, we look into the past, talk about the present, or look into the future. So we are here now. I am speaking. Um, let's that's my pen. Let me use this color. So I have been teaching for 15 minutes. Present perfect. Let's go back. It's now 11.45. London time and Portugal time. We're talking here and I'm talking about before a time before now. I have been talking, <laughs> present perfect continuous. So before now, yeah? Okay. Yeah. We're talking about this time. Look into the future. Same idea, a time in the future. It's now 11.45, I am teaching. Into the future, let's say this is three o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, three o'clock this afternoon. Yeah. I plan to finish teaching at 12.30, 11.30. Let me take that bit away. So I am teaching. I'm looking ahead to three o'clock this afternoon. If I finish at 12.30, am I teaching at three o'clock? No, Uncle Jeff is the right answer. So at three o'clock, by three o'clock this afternoon, I will have finished. I'm not teaching, I'm, I finish here. So before three o'clock, I will have finished by this time. At three o'clock, I will have finished teaching. Future perfect, will have finished. A perfect tense made with have and the third form. Have plus the past participle, the third form, yeah? I'm scribbling this that way, yeah? So present perfect, have plus third form. Future perfect, I will have finished teaching. Will, after, will, you must have the infinitive. So it's have, will, have, and then finish, finished, finished, the third one, yeah? I will have finished. So at three o'clock today, I will have finished teaching and I will be watching the football. Future continuous, two tenses, future perfect and future continuous. At three o'clock this afternoon, I will have finished teaching and I will be watching the football on TV or I will be sleeping on the sofa. Two possibilities. So two tenses to talk about the future. I will have finished teaching, future perfect, and I will, um, what? I will be sleeping or I will be watching the football, future continuous. Happy with that? Yes, Uncle Jeff. <laughs> have a quick look at this piece of paper. 
Okay, now we're on the perfect tenses. Again, three sentences. Who are we talking about? John and Jill. This is John and Jill. John is the man, Jill is the lady. John and Jill have been married for 24 years, long time. Have been married, we're looking here, present perfect, they have been married. Have plus third form. Be, was, been, the third form. Have been, present perfect. We're looking here, back. They have been married for 24 years. Have a look at the next sentence. Now we're looking into the future. Next year, John and Jill, next year they, next year they will have been married for 25 years. Yeah, now they've been married for 24 years. Next year, at this time, they will have been married for 25 years, one year extra. So will plus have plus the third form, be, was, been. They will have been married. Happy so far? Yeah. Good. Look at the next sentence. When their son was born, when their son was born, they had been married for three years. So you look, here is three years, yeah? They got married before that. Yeah. Their son was born here. So they had been married for three years. They got married here somewhere. And then their son was born here. So they had been married for three years before their son was born. Mm -hmm. Future perfect, uh, sorry, past perfect. <laughs> Logical, huh? Yes, Uncle Jeff. So there we are, past perfect, present perfect, future perfect. And there the action is finished, it's completed. Yeah. They will have been married for 25 years here. So it's completed at 24 years here, 25 years here, their son was born here, and they were married for three years before their son was born. So they had been married. Future perfect, future continuous with a, a comparison between past, present and future to give you an idea so you can see it a bit clearer in your head. Sounds good? Yes. Time for tea. Okay, say, say thank you to all the likes. All oh the yes, thank you again to more likes. Roses. More roses, thank you. And, uh, thank said, you so much. I think there's a girl want me to pass you that message. Okay, well by the way, if you want to, uh, if you want to send an email to, to me, Uncle Jeff, have a look at this. This is where we are, yep. Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English, we're on TikTok, TikTok, <laughs> the past tense. Uh, we're in, we're on TikTok, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, and the email address, unclejeffenglish at gmail.com. If you want to send an email or you have any questions. Okay, so Question? Please tell him, can I read on my screen? That's a long sentence, so. I've got to change my glasses. Okay, just tell you. Let me change my glasses. Read my. Dear student. School. Let me have a look. Um, I would have been. I would have been glad he had been my. I, I would have been glad if he had been my English teacher. Yeah, put an if clause in there. Um, yeah, I would have been glad if he had been my English teacher. Good sentences though, aren't they? Really yeah. good. Nice so you're looking, sentence. yeah, you're looking, because uh, you're back in, you're talking back in the past. So I, I would have been glad back in the past. I would have been happy, would have been glad, would have been, would have, 
would have been, I would have been pleased if he, a good conditional sentence, if he had been my teacher back then. Lovely sentence, whatever your name is. Angelina. I can't. Angelina. Oh, I can't see it. Never yeah. mind. But thank you. Yeah, true. Lovely sentence. Yeah, but yeah make it an if clause. Yeah. Sounds and really good. Uh, and also, one student said that they are all over the people, the people from all over the world, which it is. That's the country so yeah. far. Right, written down. And oh wow! A lot. So thank you, uh, thank you, um, Mrs. Uncle Jeff. For writing him in the end. we've got people today from Israel, from where? Lebanon. Yeah. I think that looks like in South Africa and Angola and Yemen and uh -huh. Iran, Australia again. Hi, Australia. Uh, South Korea, Philippines, Brazil, India. Uh, um, everywhere. Everywhere. Mexico, everywhere. Finland, Spain, Peru. Australia. Wow. Australia. Yeah. Is that Malta? Alba? Yeah, Malta. Oh, Malta. Wow. Today is a very wild. Yeah. And there's a Crazy okay, today. Okay, Thank you for being lesson. there. Could um, could you do a, a, a lesson on figurative language? Figurative what? L language. Language. Mm. Oh, could do. Yeah, do little expressions and things like that. Okay. We'll, we'll, yeah, maybe next next time we'll put some little little expressions in. And America. <laughs> uh, America. Thailand. Everywhere. Uh, yeah, amazing. Thank you for joining us today. Okay. I'm Thanks. just looking at the clock. For the next job. Ready for the next job? Michigan. <laughs> oh, hello, Michigan. You need a piece of paper, dear student. You need a piece of paper. Let me find a piece of paper. You need a piece of paper and a pen. <laughs> I should have told you earlier. I keep forgetting. At the board, if you do it again, we need to change your angle. Someone could have seen it. Oh, OK. Well, uh, yeah, we'll try and do that later on. Yeah. Always good fun. Yeah, so you need a piece of paper and a pen. Okay? Good, good, good. We're going to do some sounds. Some sounds in English. Today, we're doing these two sounds. We're doing k and g. There's on, for this one, k cat, k k k cat. There's no vibration here. It's just the sound, k cat. This one, g g g g, you can feel vibration here. G g go, get. Gosh, yeah? K g. So these are the two sounds today, unvoiced and voiced. So you need a piece of paper and some pen and a pen. First of all, while you're preparing your paper and pen, have a look at these words. So some sounds in English. We're looking at k, cat, and g, get. K, k, g, g. Okay. Ready? You have to do some talking now, <laughs> dear student. So it's the k sound for could, could, good, good. You got k, g, k, g, k, could, could, and good, good, g, 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 good. Feel the vibration. G, 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 g. Make the voice. Uh, g, 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 yeah. And <laughs> Thank Sorry. you, Mrs. Uncle Jeff. And <laughs> k, 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 k. there's no vibration, yeah? So, could and good. Look at the next one. Cot and got. Cot, where a baby sleeps. The baby sleeps in a, in a cot, a baby's bed. A, usually a wooden framed bed. And got, past of gave. Gave, got, given, yeah? So, cot, got, cot, got. Look at the next one. Coat, goat. Coat, goat. You wear your coat. A goat is the animal on the farm with a beard. The male goat you know, makes the meh sound. It's a sheep. <laughs> Similar. 
coat and goat. C -c coat, g -g goat. Yeah. Next one, cave and gave. Yeah, give, gave, given, past tense of give. Cave, a little hole in the mountain. A million years ago, Neanderthal man lived in caves. I am so old. I taught Neanderthal man English. Cave, gave, k, g, k, g, cave, gave. And the last two on this side, clue, glue, clue, like an idea for something to help someone remember uh, for a question or an answer. Clue and glue, where you stick something. Can I disturb you for one second? Yes, you can. The different sound, the any different between cat and the cut. Cut. And uh, yeah. Cut. Okay. That's another lesson. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing but trouble. A couple of people ask you for it. Oh, okay. Cat, ah. And cut, if you cut your hand and there's blood dripping, is ah. Uh. Now today, today we're doing these two. But, very quickly, ah, 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 Try to go down. You can go from here, ow, ow, or ah, ah. No, ow's over this side. Ah, ah, cat, cut, cat, ah. Ah, 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 ah. Look at my mouth. Ah, 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 ah. You can maybe see the tongue moving as well. Ah, 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 ah. The mouth is very wide. Ah, cat, cat, cut. It's smaller. Ah, uh, ah, ah. Okay? Okay. Back to k and g. This side. Pick. Pig. We've got the k at the end and the g at the end. Pick. Pig. G. 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 Vibration. K. 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 No vibration. Pick. Pig. Lock. Lock. And log. Log. Big thick piece of tree that you put on the fire maybe. A log, piece of wood, a lock, that you lock, lock the door. Lock and log. Next one, ankle, angle, the k and g, Ank -k ankle, the bottom of your leg before you get to the foot. Ankle and angle. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That's a good angle. <laughs> 40. <laughs> 45 degrees here, angle, 90 degrees, 30 degrees, about, 45 degrees, 90, yeah, the angle, angle, ankle, angle, crow, big blackbird, crow, grow, crow, k -k -k crow, grow, g grow, and the last two, leak, 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 and league. Leak is when water comes out of a tap. You turn the tap off, but it still drips. A leak, or there's a hole in the pipe, water. Leak, and league. Football teams are in a, a league, the Premier League. G league, g, 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 league. Yeah, leak, league. Okay, happy with those? Now, your turn. I'm going to... Where's my piece of paper? Because you need a piece of... Present, oh, okay. Thank you for the presents and the, the likes and everything. Piece of paper, pen, ready. I'm going to read out eight words. I want you to write down the words that you hear. It'll be a k sound or a g sound. Okay? And the ones that you've heard already mostly. 
So you need to write down the words that you hear. I'm going to cover my mouth so you can't see my mouth. Good. All you can do is hear. So, ready? I want you to write down these words. Number one. Could. Why is your awful? Yes, thank you. First one, number one. Could. Could. Write it down. Could. Number two. Cot. Cot. Write down the word you hear. Cot. Cot. Ready, number three? Number three is goat. Goat. Write down goat. Ready for number four? Okay, number four is glue. 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 Ready for the next one? Number five, league. 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 Next one, number six. Pick. 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 I didn't do that word in the list before. New word. Oh, no, I did do it. No, I did do it. I did do it. I did do it. Silly me. Pick. Pick. Number seven. Log. 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 And the last one, number eight. Number eight, number eight is angle. 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 Okay. I think, can you do the second one again? Second one, people making mistakes. Okay. Like Doesn't matter. Never mind. Mm -hmm. uh, number two was cot. 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 Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me sip my tea and then, we'll, the half minute, and yeah. then we'll check the answers. I think the second one's most mm. difficult one. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll look at that carefully. Yeah. But it's not a very simple, common word if you haven't got... No, it's true. It's new vocabulary. Yeah. So not only are you uh, learning pronunciation, you're building your vocabulary with Uncle Jeff today. Just move my microphone. That's better. Okay. So, hopefully, hopefully, dear student, you have these eight words. Can you see those okay? Yes. So you should have number one, could, cot, goat, glue, league, pick, log, angle. So number two was a problem one, yeah? Number one is a problem one, yeah. Number one as well? Or oh, number, number two? two. Sorry, number two. I'm yeah, we've got cot and got. K -k -k. Put your fingers here. Yeah, k -k 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 -k. cot, cot, cot. It's where the baby sleeps, yeah? K -k -k cot. And keep your fingers here and go g, g, got. Got, you can, f for g, 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 you can feel vibration. G, g, Got, 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 cot, cot, k, g, k, g, k, g. So the sounds in English. There are con sorry, vowel sounds and consonant sounds, and today we're doing these two. If you would like a copy of Uncle Jeff's sound chart. You can have one for free. I will send it to you if you send me an email. If you send an email to this address, unclejeffenglish at gmail.com, send me an email, ask for a copy of Uncle Jeff's chart, and I will send you a copy. You can then print it out in your house and stick it on the wall, put it on the fridge, Get some blue tack, 
stick it on something, yeah? And then you can look at it every day and practice the different sounds of Uncle Jeff's easy peasy English, yeah? Improve your grammar and pronunciation. The sounds. Number three, please. Number three. Do one more time. Number three. Number three was goat. Goat. You've got coat that you put on. C -c coat and g -g goat. C -c coat. Goat. Goat. It was those two. Yeah. And I said goat. Okay. The Good. difference between cat and a cart. Cat and cart. Uh, C-A-R-T. Yeah. Okay. Okay, boys and girls, here we go again. Um, vowel sounds, this time over here. This is a, 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 a. If you go from a to a, make this, make this sound first. A, a, a. Make a, a. It's the two dots make it slightly longer. A. So go. From one to the other. Ah, ah. In the middle is this sound. Ah, ah. And that's aw at the end. But, sorry, it's aw at the end. So it's ah, 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 ah. This is quite short and quick. Ah, ah. Mouth very wide. This is ah, ah. When you go to the doctor, and they say, put out your tongue. And you, they put a stick on your neck and you go, yeah. say, ah, ah, ah. They don't say, go, ah. You go, ah. Yeah. Different between cot and coat. Cot and coat. Oh, my goodness. Okay, oh. This is the oh sound. So you've got cot, oh. For clock. It's the same sound in clock. Oh. This is oh. What was the other one? Uh, coat. 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 Oh. Oh, coat. If you say it slowly, coat. There are two sounds. You've got k and you've got o. Oh, o. Oh. There are two sounds to that. And that's on this side. We've got o. Oh, o. Oh. And that's this one. That's here. You've got the a uh, and the o. Uh. O. Oh, o. Oh, o. Oh. Yeah, it's the ooh sound in book. Oh, so coat, cat coat. If you do it slowly, you can hear hear the difference, and then slowly get faster. Okay. A couple of fun things. This guy is so old. Oh, sorry, so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you, whoever you are. Um, are you a Nigerian prince? <laughs> No. no. Not quite. <laughs> Do I look like a Nigerian prince? I don't think so. Okay. Um, but no. Um, English prince? No. Sadly, no. Just ordinary Uncle Jeff. If Are you British or, in, or American? I'm British. Uh, born in London a hundred years ago. So I'm very old. Um, but I am what I am. Very cute, as that person said, which is correct. I need some tea. Well, Hang on. Someone send you a magic letter. A magic what? Letter. A magic letter. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll open it later. Oh, thank you. Okay, a question. How to question? use this is? How to use this? that is and is that this or yes. thus? P H U S. Or thus. Yeah. Thus is like therefore. Old fashioned. We don't use, hardly ever, hardly ever use it now. You'd never see thus anywhere. Uh, it kind of means like therefore. So like you, something happens, thus oh. the result. So very rare. Don't, don't use it in conversation. Don't really use it in writing. It isn't necessary. No one uses it. And this, yeah, for this pen. This cup of tea. This pastel de nata that I will eat later. Okay. So, yeah, so if you want a copy of that chart, 
you can stick it on your wall, print it out. Please send an email, unclejeffenglish at gmail.com. And I will send it to you because I'm nice like that. Uh, someone said that she still used the list to emphasize the sentence. Yeah. yeah. Unusual though. In, in, in everyday English, it's a little unusual. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard anyone use thus. Not in talking. For a year, no. Right. Not so much in writing. Even in um, like official letters, like from a lawyer or a solicitor, um, a, a legal letter, you still don't see it very often. I, I haven't seen it for a long, long time. <clears throat> but if you look in your dictionary, it's there. Um, let me show you. Ooh, ew. Ooh. Uncle Jeff's dictionary. If you buy a dictionary, get an all English one. Don't get bilingual. Please, please, please do not buy a bilingual dictionary. Do not get an electronic dictionary. Please don't do it. Buy a book, a real book with pages. You can oh, smell it. It's lovely. It's real. You can hold it in your hand. Let me just find thus. Where are we? P-Q-R-S-T, thus, T-H-E, P-Q-R-S-T-U. Can you stop being funny? I try to stop being funny, but I can't help it. I'm just naturally funny. Are you? Thus, thus, here we are, look, thus. Let me open the page. Can you see that? If I hold it close. Yeah. Is that clear? Uh, too far. Too far? Yeah, okay, you go, yeah, you go closer. Yeah, yeah. Can you see that? Yes. And if I move my finger out the way. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Can you see the thus? Yeah. And I give an example. Hold, I'd like to give an example of something. Hold the steering wheel yeah. in this way. In both hands. Hold the steering wheel in both hands. Thus. Thus. Mm-hmm. And then the second experience. Which is saying, you know, how, how you do it, how you should hold it, hold uh, the steering wheel. Uh, okay. So do it like this. Uh, another, yeah, another kind of meaning for that. Uh, um, hold, hold the steering wheel like this. I never heard of it. Hold it I thus. No, it's, 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 it's quite old fashioned. Um, yeah, yeah, because of this. Um, he was very busy and was therefore, he, and was thus unable to do the job. So, Lovely word, lovely word. If you're writing, I guess if you're writing formally, it looks very impressive, but hardly anybody uses it now. Where can you buy the book, particular book? You, you might in have... In Philippines, I think. They are in Philippines. Yeah, Philippines. you might have to order it online to yeah. get a real book. Maybe one of your local bookshops can get it, I'm sure. Um, but... This, this particular, this is Oxford, there are Cambridge, there's Longman, lots of publishers do it. This is yeah, the Oxford Essential Dictionary for elementary and pre-intermediate. So it's the lower level learners, not, not high. Buy a dictionary for your level. If you are advanced, don't buy a pre-intermediate elementary dictionary. Buy a dictionary for advanced learners. Again... That's a long, big question. It's set for you. Well, let, me, let me just do this. Um, and for an elementary learner, if I open it like that, lots of little pictures. There are, in the middle of the book, there are some colour pictures. When I get there. Oh, there they are. Some colour pictures. Again, vocabulary. You can see you know, things for food and drink. Um, things to do with a house the weather, build your vocabulary. And at the back of the book, you know, some, the, uh, the usual, if I can find it, oh, I can't find it, but verb lists, buy a dictionary for your level of English. It's a really good investment. This is, I guess, about 10 pounds. How much was this? Used to be. Oh, it used to be a long time ago. Maybe 15, 20 now, but pretty good. Hi from France. Hello, Paris and Lyon. Um, That's a big question. I don't think I can't answer. How to use in a sentence? To, in, on, and at. Yes. We've done that before a million times. However, have a look at Uncle Jeff's YouTube videos 
And also there are some videos on TikTok, some short ones uh, with in the other prepositions, in, at, on, and whatever the other one was. There are lots of examples. You know, I'll put the, the cup on the table. Hello, friend. The cup is in okay. my hand. Prepositions, in, at, on, by. Hello, Germany. Oh, if you finish talking, shall we turn around so you can answer? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 10 more minutes. Yeah. We'll do the phrasal verb next week, yeah, or, or I might do phrasal verb in the week. Oh, do the phrase in the week, then Wednesday or something. Yeah. Yeah, my do we, 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 no time today because there's a lot. Already an hour. Yeah, nearly an hour already. So we'll do uh, phrasal verbs maybe during the week. We we'll do a quick phrasal verb and then a, an afternoon tea. We we'll do that. Okay. I'm going to okay. Can you flip the camera? Like so, and now I can see me. Oh my goodness, what a picture! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I did the other side. I'm saying, Let me just move it like that. Yeah. Put it like that. Turn it down a bit like that. Perfect. Uh, go like that. That's better. Now, of course, oh, hang on a second. Let me do it a bit more. So, it's forever moving the camera. Let's move a little bit closer. Okay. Then I can change my glasses and read what's going on on the screen. Ah, oh, that's better. I can see now. Let me move that away. Yeah, the phrasal verbs next time. So, different quail. Well, thank you for uh, for all the uh, all the nice comments again. Very kind. Thank you. Yeah, hello from Germany, Buenos Aires. Thank you for that, my friend. You're welcome, mm -hmm. my friend. Mm -hmm. Hello from Czech. Czech. Oh, Czech. Chechnya, Chechnya, or Czech, it's not Czech Republic, is it? It's no, or Chechnya. Hello from Morocco. I would like all British people to speak like you. <laughs> ha, if only, if only. How um, did uh, Danny say last night when I asked you to repeat? Oh, I can't remember. Oh, there was a, a TV program on, uh, on the BBC last night. Uh, yeah, today's Sunday, yesterday, Saturday. There was a program on TV. And there is a, a, the presenter is from London and he speaks with a very strong, typical London, almost Cockney accent. Um, but his pronunciation is not always very clear. So we were watching the, um, we were watching the program last night. And what was the? 4,000 or something. Oh, yeah. The, the, they were winning some money on, on, on the TV and they won 4,000. Or, or four, four, forty thousand four hundred pounds, um, and he said, "You want forty-four thousand pounds," <laughs> which is very, uh, very, you know, London accent. So don't worry if uh, you don't always understand, but it can be a bit tricky. Yeah, forty thousand pound. But yes, yeah, so, but thank you for your comments on my pronunciation. Um, also, I used to work on the radio. Um, I can get you very well. Good. Nice. Do you have videos on the differences between American and British English? No I haven't yeah, I haven't done um, any comparisons between American English and British English. On TikTok, there are several um, little videos. I'll do one maybe next week um, with a couple of things. Some words are different. Uh, the sound is different. Um, yeah, sometimes the vocabulary is different. But, you know, we have a different word. Um, for example, when you walk along, you know, along the road on the pa on the pavement, you know, you've got the road, and on the side of the road, there's the bit that you walk on. Because if you walk in the road, you'll get hit by a car. Not a good idea. So walk along on the sides of the road. In England, we call them pavement. In American English, they call it sidewalk. So it's, it's just a different word, different word, um, and different sound. Hello from Saudi Arabia. Hiya, thank you for joining us today. Uh, the couple that have, have a child in three years after they got married is past perfect because the child will, and there's some more words to come. Um, yeah, but well, I, let me go back to that. Oh, where are we? Da, 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 da. Oh, I was on that one. No, I wasn't on that one. 
but it was it was what's the question again is parks perfect yeah it was past perfect exactly <laughs> yeah yes it was that's what i said um when their son was born they had been married for three years past perfect correct um you sound good thank you so much um hello from the state of confusion <laughs> oh i mean california <laughs> Warm there, it? Yeah, what's the what's the weather like in California today, uh, where you are in California? Um, here, here in uh, in Portugal, here in the Algarve, it's about 15, 16, 17 degrees. Quite nice, nice day. Bit windy, very windy today actually. Um, it's been windy for a few days, but uh, not too bad. Your voice is clear. Thank you. I try. Yeah, hi from Thailand. Hello, Thailand. Thank you for being there. Brazil as well. Um, yeah, very clear, says that lady. Hello from Ethiopia. Hi, thank you for being there today. <laughs> Do you have stream schedule? Uh, Sunday, definitely. Yeah, de definitely Sunday. Nearly always Sundays, 11.30 in the morning, London time. Um, sometimes during the week, we might do uh, an afternoon tea session just for a little conversation, your questions, me talking rubbish, uh, me <laughs> waffling. So not, not speaking about anything in particular, although maybe next week we'll do the phrasal verbs with up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi Brazil, thank you for being there. Dived or dove? <laughs> well, slightly um, American English as well, isn't it? Partly, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. We, he dove into the pool. We never, in, in British English, we hardly ever in fact, almost never, very seldom, very rarely, adverbs of uh, yeah, frequency. We might do that one day. Um, we very rarely say dove. If you, you know, he dived, we, we will say dived. He dived into the pool. He dived into the ocean. If you read some old books uh, by perhaps Agatha Christie or Charles Dickens, some writers from the 1800s, or early 1900s, they may use that word in their storytelling. But generally, we don't say dove. He dove into the pool? Nah. Um, it may be in your verb list as the uh, simple past form, but we hardly ever use it. We'll say dived. Okay. Thanks so much, Uncle. You're welcome. Angola. Oh, in Angola, hi. Wow, thank, thank you for joining us yeah. today. Yeah, hi Philippines. Yeah, they were there last week, the Philippines. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. From Kaliningrad. Don't know. There was a again on TV yesterday. There was a, a TV pro. Uh, one of the questions on the, a TV quiz show was how many. Um, oh no, that was a different. That was, no, that was, no, with, that was S T A N yes, on the yes, end. Yeah. Yes, yes. So hello, Kaliningrad. Yeah. Hello, Argentina. Coronation Street. Coronation Street's more northern England, Manchester. Uh, so not so much the the, the London dialect, but in north of England. Czech Republic. Hiya. That was oh. Czech Republic. Oh, it was Czech Republic. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they changed the English form of the name. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you learn something every day. Um, you're watching, you know, we're talking together on YouTube today and we're all learning something. I'm learning some things from you and you're learning some things from me, which is lovely. Learning English, good. Yeah, learning English very important to me. <laughs> very important to me too. He got seventy percent for the lesson. Oh, good. Oh, well done. Yep, yeah. good. Excellent. Yeah. The chase. <laughs> Where is she from? She don't have all the programs. Yeah. yeah. Do you know all these English TV programs? Uh, where Where are you living? What's What's her name? No. 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 Yeah. I think she's from France or somewhere. Oh yeah. yeah. So are you watching all those good programs? Um, Actually, Bradley, that's the chase, isn't it? Bradley yes, Walsh. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a question. Everyone, that, that wasn't yeah, a question. No, yet. no. That was the Alan Beck for the that's country, right, the yeah. money, unlimited yeah. money. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But again, London voice. When is the next time? The next class on TikTok. During, I think, maybe one afternoon yeah. during the week, yeah. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We haven't booked anything yet. Yeah, we don't know exactly yet. Sometimes the afternoon one, oh. the afternoon tea, oh. is not always definite. Um, we sometimes just... Yeah. Um, do it. How we feel? We, we put a notice out. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a little thing out on, on TikTok yeah. to, remind, to remind you. Um, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, three. Or in London English, free. It's, it's, like the, it's like the little boy walking along the street and suddenly an escaped prisoner he, he escaped from jail and he was running along the street going, I'm free, I'm free. And the little boy said, huh, that's nothing, I am four. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hold on, you are you four thousand? <laughs> There's no hope. <laughs> There's no hope for me. Okay. Hello so very good. Argentina. Hello from Argentina. English is from England, right? Uh, yeah, but because a million years ago, England went off on boats and sailing all over the place, um, and they landed in Australia, and they landed in America, and they landed in wherever, then it becomes American English and Australian English. Also English, the, the, the language English is in Scotland and oh. Wales and oh. Northern Ireland and oh. Ireland and Gibraltar. It's in different countries. The language, English, the people are from England, whereas Scottish people are from Scotland. Welsh people are from Wales. Irish and Northern Irish people are from Northern Ireland and Ireland. So the language English, yeah, spoken in different places. The people English are, yeah, from England. So I am English, I am from England. I was born in London. Uh, trunk and cookies, yeah. Trunk, the boot of a car. Um, is that the trunk? Yeah, the hood is the front, yeah. In a, an American English again, American English on a car, the front of the car is in England, or in Eng British English, it's the bonnet. You lift up the bonnet and the engine usually is there. Uh, not always, but mostly, or the battery. Uh, but the engine is there in the front. You lift up the bonnet. In American English, it's the hood. You lift up the hood. Um, the back of the car, where you put your luggage, um, your cases, your, your shopping, um, American English, the trunk, um, British English, the boot. Um, biscuits in England, cookies, American English. So again, different vocabulary. But because we watch lots of American TV shows in England, we know if, you, if, if Americans say, oh, I went to the shops and bought some cookies, uh, we know they're talking about biscuits. You've so. been called TikToker by American. Oh people. yeah, but I think TikToker is quite is it? common. Yeah, is it? Yeah, in England as well. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, YouTuber, TikToker. <laughs> now you got different sound. It's the sound. Yeah. It's not the TikToker uh, <laughs> or YouTuber. <laughs> YouTube. Um, <laughs> how, I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Thank you for the flowers. Thank you for the roses. Hi, New Zealand. <laughs> Thanks for being there. Who was that in New Zealand? Not some. Oh no. I thought it might be the person I know in New Zealand, the journalist, but not. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, someone prefers British English. Yeah. Okay. I feel yes. like I'm a native speaker. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're, you're so cool. Thank you so much. Nice of you to say so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Crib American English. Yeah. In, in British English, say cot. You put your baby in the cot. Oh. Um, in American English, crib. Put the baby in the crib. Oh. That's like diapers and nappies. Um, American English, um, diaper. And British English, nappy. Depending on 
Where are you from? Hi, Vancouver. Yeah, oh, you did dive and dove. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why do Americans come up with a two word phrase to say pavement? Sidewalk. Mind you, sidewalk is one word. Um, oh, pavement. Word. No, 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 no. Just no. one word. One oh. word, yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, thanks, Uncle. You're welcome. Bon dia. Yeah, bon dia. Bon dia. Bon dia. Yeah. <laughs> bon dia. Pastel donata. Later. Oh, she's from a cyclist. Oh, okay. Well, windy in Cyprus as well. Yeah. I think at the moment it's just a gale blowing everywhere. Um, the people, um, people say that people from England are angry. No, not, no, not really. I think, I think it depends. I think it, it depends who you talk to. Uh, and again, if you, maybe, maybe um, people just a, a bit distant and polite in England. It's very difficult to get close mm. to English, mostly because when you when you meet somebody in England, you normal to shake hands. Yeah, hello, how do you do? And there's a, a meter and a half, two meters space between you, so it's it's difficult to get close. And maybe that distance is in the language, so you feel a bit distant. But when you get to know someone from England someone like me, you know, silly Uncle Jeff, then a bit crazy, a bit friendly, extra friendly. What's so, your new name this year, Jeff? I don't know. What's you, my new name? Stupidity. Well, stupid. Stupidity. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, English people are not angry. No. I, the English people are very friendly. Actually. Yeah. They try to help you if you are in mm. trouble. Especially yeah. in English, <coughs> especially the sauce. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah. Mm. Surface paradise. Cool. Cool. What's that? Twenty six degrees. Yeah. At ten thirty p.m. Good grief. To California, right? Oh, that must be the is that the California Washington, man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Argentina. I think it's very hot in Argentina recently. I saw see that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, just mm. just working through. Hello to the guys in Maine. Uh, that's America. Oh. Minus fifteen. Oh, that's that's uh, my, that's Fahrenheit. So it's about yeah, it's a minus two to the minus two or three. Two or three uh, Celsius. Chile. Chile. Yep. Hi Brazil. Yeah. Dive into the pool. He dove into the pool. Yeah. I again dove, dived. He dived in. Past tense. We don't use dove very often. Not in British English. Uh, Scottish girl who lived in London now lives in the USA. Hiya. Yeah, hi. Thanks for being there today. Yeah. Well, the Scottish girl told me the other day. Scottish. Scottish. Oh, yeah. English. We... English. <laughs> English. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. We went to see um, some houses last week. And um, one of the, uh, the estate agent is from Scotland. And my She's wife. Very sweet. Very sweet. My wife kept saying, oh, you English. She, she was. She wasn't angry. Um, she was just slightly irritated because she was from Scotland, um, and so after several attempts, then we changed to. Um, I'm uh, acceptable for me. Because yeah. I'm foreign. Because yeah, because my wife is from China, and so she's not not quite sure on which words to use in which situations. Um, but yeah, even though she spoke English, she's from Scotland, so she's Scottish. Um, hi, Iraq. Thank you for being there. Um, hi, yeah, yeah. Hello. Good day to you too. Morocco, Serbia. Wow. How about thy and the? Very old fashioned, isn't it? Thy and the. Never, Never use it. Never heard of it. Very old fashioned language, quite religious sometimes um, from religious writings. But never, never, ever. Use it in everyday conversation. Mm. Yeah, Brazil is complicated. Mm. <laughs> Everywhere is complicated sometimes. Huh? Huh? Where are we? Hmm? Have we gone? Well, I think I've oh, yeah. lost Elevator it. and lift. Oh, we've missed. Have we missed a million? A million. We've missed 90 comments. Oh, yeah. Dive into the pool. Dive yeah, into the pool. Yeah. Oh, okay. And, uh, Serbia. Yeah. And then oh, yeah, Peru. And they, we're trying to get on. Oh, hello, Peru. Yeah, we're trying to get to some uh, some more 
Iraq. Some more people. Yeah, hi, Iraq and Cyprus. Oh, I'm living in Cyprus, but I'm Venezuelan. Oh. Wow. Why did you move to Cyprus? Wow. Warmer. Always the same. No, Venezuela <laughs> must be hot. Yeah. I should yeah. know all the program. Yeah. Maybe in Cyprus they have lots of English TV shows. <laughs> I guess. Thailand. Yeah. Hi, Thailand. Hi, Morocco. Um, yeah, London is free. Free. Yeah, Good. Uganda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pronunciation. Yeah, Uganda. Lots of laughing faces. Yeah. Probably for my terrible jokes <laughs> about I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> Sudan. Oh, Sudan, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and Canadian English, of course, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that, sorry. <laughs> the Caribbean islands, yeah, speaking English on the Caribbean. Mm. Yeah, lorry and truck. Sometimes we say in British English we'll use truck. Mm. Uh, not always, mostly lorry, but yeah, truck. You have some, in America, the trucks look really impressive. Beautiful. Yeah. Great big things. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. With great big bonnets. Mm. Great big hoods, great big wheels, looks pretty good. Ice road truckers. That's Canada, isn't it? And That's well, they, they, yeah, I think they, they, they drive up in Canada, don't they? Mm. And Alaska. Um. <laughs> Should Limp Biscuit be called Limp Cookies? Yeah, rock band, Limp Biscuit. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. They should call Limp Biscuit Limp Cookies. I like it. Uh, loving you live. Thank you. Hi, Brazil. When was the transition from Old English to Contemporary English? I wouldn't... Um, it, yeah, it just evolves naturally, slowly but surely, as I'm sure in, in other countries, your language evolves, it develops. And it's the same with, with, uh, with English. You read books from, from years ago, and the language is more polite, more, uh, more structured uh, now. Often <laughs> grammar is gone, but, uh, but yeah, it, language evolves. Hello, Philippines. When do you say hi and when do you say hello? Hi, very informal. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to see you again to friends that you, people that you know and you've seen often. Um, hello, a little more formal, but again, as language evolves now, you can say hi to anybody. In emails, hi. you yeah hi. In, in emails, you always say oh hi, blah blah. Yeah. Um, but you would never say it in a in a in a in an old letter if you're writing it or typing it. See? I keep losing it. Um, okay. Maybe your finger went too far down. No, no, maybe. it just goes. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, I'm from Somalia, but I live in Germany. Wow. It's cold. My dream is to go away from England, but it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Getting close to somebody. Um, Oh, mm. really, but yeah. Love English language, yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Okay. We're trying to go through some messages here yeah. now quite quickly because we're running out of time. Yeah. It's, I've got to finish yeah. soon. <clears throat> yeah. Someone says English people are very friendly and helpful. Yeah. yeah, most of the time. Good teacher and friendly. Thank you so much. Yeah. I agree. Tell you about the pandemic. Yeah, just, we're not in England. We're not in England, though. We're, we're, we live in Portugal. Yeah. So... Um, the pandemic is tricky. Everyone wears masks everywhere now, but yeah. such is life. Hi, he's, yeah. a, he's a teacher as well. Is he coming to oh, teacher. Portugal? Yeah. Yeah. Teacher Banks. Yeah, hi, yeah. Yeah. hi Teacher Banks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from France, yeah, from Brazil. Yeah, we've got quite a few friends. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's quite nice. Yeah. Lots of, uh, oh, by the way, thank you for all the likes and the, the flowers mm. and things. From Bolivia, modern, Eng modern British pronunciation. Lot, please. Yeah. Well, I I teach modern. Yeah. I'm from Morocco. Natural, normal English. Yeah. Brazil. Yeah, Morocco, Brazil. Any tips on Google English? Google English. Yeah. 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 Google English.
the afternoon work. work. What can I say about that? Can you learn Chinese? Yeah, China, also you, you, you need to want to learn it. Yeah. There needs to be a, a, some enthusiasm. Yeah. Um, and sometimes, like in school, if you go to school, in, when I went to school in England, you had to learn French. Did I like the French language? No, I didn't. Why didn't I like it? Because the French teacher was a horrible man. <laughs> He was very strict and we, he hated, I went to a boys school, I'm sure he hated all the students <clears throat> and he, he taught two lessons, he taught uh, religious instruction and he taught French. Um, so his, his pronunciation of French was very English, so it wasn't the natural, wasn't a real French sound uh -huh. and I think it's important if you want to learn French, learn it from a French person to get the sound. If you want to learn English, British English, learn it from a British English person. If you want to learn American English, learn it from an American. If you want to learn Canadian English, Australian English, learn it from them. If you think you're, you're going to be working or living in that area, learn it from a native speaker from that place. Hi, Iraq. Agadir in Morocco. Um, yeah, I understand. He's, you're talking. Yeah, understand me talking. Yeah. Good. I'm surprised. Good. Keep practicing. Keep listening. I speak natural, everyday spoken English. You're probably a little bit slower than hmm. your usual. Yeah, sometimes speech. I speak slower because of you guys, uh, because watching us, there are students of different levels. So sometimes I speak a bit slower, a little bit clearer. Sometimes I forget and mm. speak quite fast. Yeah. So you got it, told off last time. Yeah. So it just depends. Mm. A piece of explain to me the expression a piece of cake, something that's very easy. Uh, oh, it's a piece of cake, like English. It's easy peasy, very logical. So a piece of cake means very something something that's very easy. Um, I think I've gone too far as well. No, no, you haven't. Oh, no. I'll let, I'll let, I'll let Mrs. Uncle Jeff find it. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. Piece of cake, yeah. Yeah. Email. We need email, beginning message. Um, hi. <laughs> and then the person's name. Or be quite formal in an email and say, Dear Love Jeff, you. dear John, dear, sir, Mr. whoever, um, make it quite formal in email. It depends who you're writing to. If it's a business thing, then be quite formal and write dear. Don't say hi. Chelsea mug? It's too informal. Pardon, Chelsea mug? Yeah. Okay, TikTok is back to front, but yeah. The Champions League Chelsea last mug. year. Yeah. Champions League. Champions League winners last year. <laughs> Very good. Okay, goodbye, goodbye. Has the vowel in lot changed? No? Oh, lot, lot. American English is different, but British English is oh. How is Chelsea doing in championship? How are they doing in the championship? Um, or on is is, right. Yeah. Yeah. Chelsea in, in the Premier League, that's at the moment they're second, they'll probably be third or fourth oh, okay. because other, game, they, other teams have other games to play uh, to play the same number. Okay. Um, in the Champions League, I think we're still yeah, there. Well. Um, yeah, we're still, we're still in the Champions League, yeah. so that's okay. It's a see you Thursday, see you on Thursday. No difference in meaning, just a slightly different way of saying it. Yeah, see you Thursday, see you on Thursday. No difference, either is okay. See you Thursday, more informal than the other one. Okay. Hope to see you again. Yeah, thanks for joining us today. Bye-bye. Yeah. Um, I'm from Brazil. I want to live in England again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cold. Is the live finished nearly? Almost. The, the teaching bit's finished. Yeah the, yeah, the teaching bit's finished. Now we're just having a conversation. And we're going to stop very yeah. soon Five because my minutes. tea is cold and I must eat. My pastel donata. And then some football going on. And yeah, football on TV this afternoon, so I must watch my football. <laughs> yeah, thank you.
You're welcome. I hope you're, you're learning something today. Just good to hear the language, isn't it? Do you have others coming from it's a YouTube? Yeah, yep, back they're on YouTube. One. Back to front one. Let me find my, there. my other there. piece of paper. Here we go. So again, Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Mm. I'll look over my... <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Mm -hmm. On TikTok, on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram. If you search Uncle Jeff... Other way, other way. Oh, sorry. If you... <laughs> oh, yeah, TikTok. If you... <laughs> if... Thank you. If you search on Google... Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English, most of these come up. But yeah, but TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. And if you want to, if you want to write, yeah, yeah. please do. Yeah. Uncle Jeff English at gmail.com. Hi from Australia. Hello, Australia. Thank you for being there today. Lunch must be in the middle of the night. Good grief. Oh, in Oman. Um, yeah. yeah, wow. Yeah, I hope to learn English more. Good. You will if you will listen to Uncle Jeff. <laughs> Your English will be amazing. <laughs> yeah. So there we are. Shall we finish now? Uh, you've done over 20 minutes Yes, now. an hour and 20 minutes. So it's a long time. Yeah, we only plan to do one hour. Yeah. So in the week, we'll, uh, during the coming week, we'll yeah. try and do something Wednesday or Thursday yeah. afternoon about yeah. Four o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, yeah. England time, yeah. London time. Then, um, but we'll, we'll put a little thing on yeah. TikTok. And also, if you follow, if you follow Uncle Jeff English, then when we are live, when we post a new video, because we post two videos a week usually. Hope to, to do more. Hope to do more. Mm. Then uh, you get a little message at the top of the screen, don't you, to say yeah. Uncle Jeff is Uncle Jeff English is live or. Uncle Jeff has posted a new video. So please follow and you'll get to hear when we're next live. Okay. So thank you for being there today. Yep. Best teacher ever. Eee! Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm going to finish my tea. I'm going to eat my pastel donata and know. have some lunch. And then relax watch for TV. and watch football on TV. Terrible. Lovely, though. So thank you for being there. We'll see you next time on Uncle Jeff's Easy Peasy English. Bye-bye for now. Have a nice weekend. Yeah, have a nice, yeah, what's left for Sunday. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao, bye-bye.